morning everyone another session of tao overflows life and orgasmic experience you will find this topic very strange because you know the word orgasm only in one particular act about which you do not want to talk what is really orgasm orgasm is the experience of inner explosion of oneness harmony and bliss three things are in that moment there is oneness there is harmony and there is bliss so how does this happen the life is the journey of orgasms from auto orgasms to bio orgasms to cosmic orgasms the process begins with birth and continues life long in various forms until the final orgasm happens and what is that final orgasm drop merging in the ocean siddharth merging into the existence to become gautam the buddha merger into the existence through various elements or components that accompanies you so as i said orgasm is the experience of inner explosion oneness harmony and bliss is it the proper definition of orgasm this you can experience in any age and when you understand the crux of the matter and what is the difference between you and i you and the master the difference is just as the difference is between two computers one has a higher ram ram means readily available memory and its processing power is faster than yours so master is that bio computer whose ram is very high there are no junk files in it and his processing receiving downloading and transferring speed is much higher in internet we use two speeds download speed and upload speed when i am uploading something my speed is very high infinite and when i am downloading something from the existence for your purpose the download speed is also infinite so i choose this word because this applies to every aspect of your life and it is a very significant word and not only the word it is not a word it is an experience experience of explosion now for instance you are doing something adventurous you are trying and trying and it is not happening all of a sudden it happens is there not an explosion of oneness is not there an explosion of inner joy is not there an explosion of ecstasy and what you call this this can be called as orgasmic experience you are cooking something when thomas alva edison 
was working on electric bulb, electricity. Again and again he failed. He tried one, just as in your day-to-day -day life you try. Every effort that you make does not give a hundred percent success. Sometimes it fizzles out. Sometimes it is about to happen but it does not happen. So that was the situation with Thomas. He was working on electricity. His wife got disappointed. Friends, he tried 350 times and he failed. He failed. Somebody asked, you have tried 350 times and you have failed and still you want to continue that? He said, yes. For anything to happen, there are certain number of possibilities. Suppose we imagine there are 500 possibilities, different experiments through which when I go through in one of these experiments, one of this moments my search will be complete. So isn't it that I have come 350 degrees closer? I needed to cover 500 meter distance. 350 meters I have covered. I have only to cover 150 meters. 150 meters only. So the day the electricity happened, it was middle of the night. Suddenly there was an explosion of light. Was not this moment of orgasm for Thomas Elva Addison? Was he not ecstatic? Was he not in harmony within? Was it not a moment of oneness with all that within and without? Oneness within, that's why the experiment success succeeded. Harmony within, there is no chaos, no disturbance of any kind. All of a sudden his wife wake up because of the light. She said, what is this here? Where is this light? Then she realized this is what uh, Thomas was working on. You are cooking a dish. You are trying it for the first time. And you are failing. You do not know the basic tenets of cooking. So slowly and slowly you learn the basic tenets. Every time when you cook, the onion burns or the rice burns or something else burns. So slowly and slowly you reach to the point you are able to make the rice perfect. Your biryani comes out perfect. Your gravies are exactly like what it is in the restaurant. So is it not that moment you do not feel something has exploded in it an experience of inner explosion, experience of inner joy, experience of inner oneness, and what you will call this. It is an orgasmic experience through the cooking. When you are making a tune, normally there are two ways of creating a tune. A song is given and you have to weave that song into the music or the musician prepares the tune first and then you have to fit the words according to the meter in which this particular song has been, particular tune has been created. Particular tune has been created. So for that, 
if you are doing the composition first so there are certain meters certain parameters certain ways in which you compose your poetry compose your song there are different names for it the two lines a composition of two lines is known as couplet a composition of four line is known as quartet then there is a composition sonnet 14 lines 12 main lines and then the two separate ballad the sestet all these are the different formats in which so it has to meet there has to be a rhyming scheme let's say the first sentence it is divided into two segments of equal the hindi word is matra meters and they should be rhyming then the second one second line this is known as in hindi doha an entire ramcharit manas is composed in this format bhagavad gita is composed in another meter so this is when you are able to prepare the tune able to prepare the tune to the verse that has been composed by the poet there is an explosion of joy you had been working or you are given a tune and the song writer is writing the song to fit within that framework and when it is completed it is an explosion of joy and by the time he finishes the verse and the tune so it is said mirza galib his compositions were very very difficult to understand firstly the language persian language he used not even urdu persian language and it is very difficult to understand if the music is also that encompasses that is complex then you will not be able to understand so you cannot change the compositions by the poet mirza galib all you can do you can create the tunes in such a way that it brings down the meaning the taste of the words in the language of the food it brings down the taste of the food in simple manner for the consumers so for the listeners the words when they are composed in a very mellow and soft easily flowing musical tune then those words become very easy to understand and when you are like cd ghazal is a particular format of six lines and a particular meter and in that mirza ghalib composed his poems and a music was given created there was a pakistani musician um the i do not recall his name so when he composed the music weave those words into music in such a manner that the not only the words but the music and the words blended together make it very easily understandable it is an experience of inner explosion of joy harmony oneness and bliss so this is why entire life is an orgasmic experience go in the broader sense of the word <laughs>